Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Stardrop here, we're back for another episode of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix Part 15. I feel like I need to do a little bit of a introductory thing in this part. Part 14 was kind of a bitter disappointment for me, because by the end of my recording, I realized there was something wrong with my headset, and I was able to hear the game's audio, and it was saying it's recording, uh, recording my commentary, but it really wasn't, so I was kind of upset about that. I said a lot of things that I think were kind of important in this game. So, um, let's just uh, catch up a little bit. Last time, we uh, entered the Land of the Dragons, met Mulan, who's actually called Ping, or is it the other way around? Yeah, met Ping, who's actually called Mulan, and um, Mushu, which is one of my favorite Disney characters because he is just awesome. He's utterly useless in Kingdom Hearts 1 as a, as a summon, but he is still one of my favorite characters. Um, um, one of the more important things I wanted to say in this part is that you know nothing is missable in this game. Uh, you might see different maps change over time, so the landscapes of different uh, areas and stuff, but all the stuff that we don't collect will still be available for collection later on in the game. So I've said this multiple times in my walkthrough so far. Um, I'm not collecting those puzzle pieces. Uh, you, you can go ahead and collect them uh, as many as you want, it really doesn't matter, but I, I seriously doubt you can collect all of them by the time you reach endgame. I don't even think it's possible. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try my best to not collect any of these, so that at the, e at the very end of the game I can come back to all of these maps and be like, yeah, here's one, here's one, there's one, and uh, just do a lot of cleanup by then. Um, those puzzle pieces don't reward you with anything too great, like nothing you absolutely need to complete the game anyways, so it's not super super important that we collect them right now. Right now. Okay, um, so hopefully this time there will be commentary in this video, in fact I guarantee it. Let's just move on. So last time we were following Shang Yu into this cave here, let's just go. You may have realized that those, um, those I don't know what to call them. They're kind of like centaurs. They're like <laughs> monsters on four legs but holding spears. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But um, those things are kind of hard. But you just have to learn how to defend against their attacks. Uh, once you do that, uh, it becomes a little bit easier. But they're still kind of annoying to deal with. Okay, so let's enter this area for a cutscene. While I drink some water. Dead end. Nobody here. You're crazy. Check again. Wait for me, Donald. Yeah, they just start walking out. It's like so natural, right? There's no one here. Let's just walk out. Yeah. Boom, we get a wall. It's kind of disappointing. Um, there's going to be a battle here, as you might expect. Uh, expect, Not against this guy, but against his minions. Heartless minions. Uh, we don't have Donald or Goofy in this fight. So there will be no using Valor form, which is, uh, man, kind of disappointing. Yep, we got one of those guys. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Those spear-wielding, whatever they're called. I think they're... I don't remember their names. I have to look it up in the journal. So, please kill this thing first, because he is super, super annoying with that attack right there. Hate it so much. Ah, oh, yes, dodged it there. Okay. Your first instinct might be to kill the shadows, but um, it makes things so much easier if you kill that guy. Um, more will spawn in this battle. So just watch out for them. And the best thing about these little shadows is that they drop health. So even though we're getting hit a little bit, we're getting a lot of it back. Ow. Yeah, against this many of them, it's impossible to guard, so don't even bother. You might be able to get a couple of dodges in here and there, but they hit for minuscule amounts of damage. No biggie. Oh yeah, last time we also equipped um, this upper slash that I can't really show off on these guys because they die too quickly. And these guys cannot be lifted, so... It's kind of hard to show that off right now. Oh, you cannot guard against that, I believe. 
the fiery attack he does. Yeah, you can't guard against it. Had to try it. There we go, pick up some health. But you can guard against everything else. Die. I don't know how much work Ping is actually doing, but I trust she's doing, I mean he, <laughs> is doing a good job. There we go, that's it. And we get the slight dash ability, which is actually very, very awesome. Nice fighting, Ping. You were amazing. Oh, and I think uh, Ping or whoever learned Hyper Healing, which is not that great. I think like once per battle it has a chance to revive you or something like that, but... Um, I've never seen it actually make a huge difference. But we can equip it nonetheless. Because why not? Alright, so sliding dash, or slight dash rather, we are 1 AP short. And this is a situation I was talking about last time, which you guys didn't hear. Um, AP boosts. Try to conserve them. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. It, it depends on your playstyle. I like to conserve them for when I actually need some AP. So th in this case, for example, I need one extra AP to equip slight dash. So I'm going to do that. Use one of these AP boosts to... Um, to get it, which is actually quite awesome. From now on, as long as you have an enemy targeted uh, and they're far away, you'll do a little slide um, towards the enemy to attack it. So it actually works a lot better than in Kingdom Hearts 1. In Kingdom Hearts 1, it's kind of like a chance to activate. Um, you won't always... Oh, another AP boost, nice. So, but in Kingdom Hearts 2, it's uh, pretty much almost all the time. As long as you have, a, you have an enemy targeted, whether it's the the blue lock-on with R1 or just the uh, the auto lock-on, the, the, the yellow one. Um, as long as you have some enemy targeted like that, you can use it. And it's an auto ability, so we don't have to activate it or anything. Don't overdo it, Captain. It's just a scratch. Oh. <gasps> Captain, the enemy, where did they go? They went toward the summit. We'll stop them. It kinda is our fault. Right. You mean my fault? Sean, you and the Heartless did this, not us. Captain, if you track down the villagers, we'll handle this. Let's go. Alright, speaking of landscape changes in different places in Kingdom Hearts, here's our first one. This village will be completely destroyed and uh, there is no turning back in it. So, But as you can see, the, um, the pieces of the puzzle are still there. So there's one there I didn't get, and there's one there that we can't get. Alright, so Shang Yu destroyed our village. It's just a flesh wound, of course. Designated good guy wound area. Usually around the shoulder or, you know, other shoulder. Never in a lethal or fatal spot. Um, oh yeah, there's one small... Oh, there's another one up there that we can't get for now. It might look impossible to get, but uh, eventually we'll find ways to actually reach that, which is kind of amazing. <laughs> uh, one other thing I kind of want to point out is that you may have noticed a small change in the um, music volume or the game audio volume in this part. I'm just testing something out. I basically just reduced the game audio sound by 6 decibels, which is not a lot. Um, I don't know if it'll make a huge difference or anything because um, one, of my, one of my viewers wanted me to do that, so um, I would do that. Yeah, I kind of do think um, the game audio is a bit loud sometimes, but it's, it's, it's kind of hard to say. It's a trial run for this time um, to see how this works out. If it's still too loud, I'll drop it a bit more in the next video, and so on, until it's perfect. 
Alright, next map. These flying dudes, super, super easy. They don't really do anything. In fact, you don't even need, need to jump to attack them as long as you have them targeted. Uh, you Sora will automatically jump up and grab it, or attack it. <laughs> okay, so there's, there was a puzzle piece in that wagon thing. I'm not going to collect that, once again. But I will kill these guys. Oh, there we go. We just used a slide dash there. So cool. Alright, so we have an enemy targeted. And when he emerges from the ground, hold on. There we go. Yeah, as you can see, he went back underground, but it's, it's super cool. It's kind of like a long range attack, but we um, we dash up to them instead. Alright, AP boosts. AP boosts in abundance in this game. Alright, so ride this win here when when you clear all the enemies. And just press triangle to... Uh, oh, I guess it's another, it's another part of the... Um, Game, I think there's some oh there's a puzzle piece you can collect it with this yeah so if you really want to collect it uh, go into this wind press triangle press triangle again to go up and you'll be able to get it if you line your, yourself up correctly but um, for progression sake we can uh, just move on There's Shang Yu's Hawk. Or Falcon, whatever you want to call it. No. This part is really awesome. It kind of reminds me of that scene from The Lion King where those, um, where those, I think they were wildebeests, were just charging down the mountain. Except there are, oh, actually, yeah, there are nowhere near as many as The Lion King. <laughs> Okay. Oh, no party members for this fight. That's right. So, no help. But, as I said, these guys are, like, deadly easy. Okay. So, it's almost like a mini game. You kind of... Oh, but these guys that spawn, they actually can do some damage. So, kill them first. They're easy nonetheless. It's just, you might... You want to... If you leave them um, alive for too long, then, uh... To actually damage you. Okay. So the reaction command for these guys is called Speed Trap, and it actually kills a whole bunch of them at once. So make sure whenever you see that reaction command pop up, press that triangle button. Okay, that one kind of. Oh, that was not too bad. Yeah, if there's a lot of them around, they um they die really quickly with Speed Trap. And you'll notice there's a timer counting down at the top right over there. Top left, sorry. I don't know my left and right, so apparently. Um, the, the, the mini game will end. We just have to survive. To sur yeah, for that amount of time. So these big guys, um, they can trap you into that little net there. So you just have to spam triangle to get out of it. Boat reversal, it's called. There we go. As long as we survive, it doesn't really matter how many you kill. Uh, obviously, the more you kill, the more experience you get. So, Yep, 47 for me. Oh, you mad? <laughs> Stand back. We'll handle this. Huh. Sorry. That is so awesome. You're going the wrong way. You would think an impact like that would kill a lizard. Yes, Captain. Look out. I wonder if Mulan thought an avalanche an, uh, an avalanche would not happen. If you launch a rocket into a snowy mountain, 
What else did you expect? <laughs> Thanks, Ping. It was nothing. Uh oh, battery's running low. I should never have doubted you. From now on, you have my trust. Thank you, Captain. Man, first she uses me as a lighter, then she turns me into a cannonball. The head ancestors is gonna hear about this. You know, that's it. I give up. I can't take this no more. Come on, Mulan. Let's put this charade and go home, girl. No shoe. What? <gasps> Busted. Mulan? A woman? It can't be. Ping! Captain! Oh boy, you're okay! You all knew, didn't you? You knew Ping was really a woman in disguise. Bull. Uh. I can't believe you lied to me. The punishment for high treason and dishonoring the army is death. Get out of my sight! Now, you're all dismissed. But, Captain... My debt is repaid. The Emperor is waiting. Move out! Wow. Those look like pretty tired men for, you know, people who didn't do anything. Mulan, I blew it. Thank you, everyone. Sorry I got you in trouble. It's no big deal. So, Ping, I mean, uh, Mulan, what are you gonna do now? Go back home. You know your daddy's gonna be steamed as a chicken dumpling. Relax. We'll take our share of the blame. Thanks. You're all wonderful friends. Very nice. And uh, now that uh, we get the real Mulan, she has unlocked her full potential. Um, let's swap, yeah, let's swap Donald out and just use her. Let's check it out. So some fire attacks. Um, we got fire boost, which is, which is actually quite um, useful. So I'm going to take off this uh, auto limit and this item boost to equip it. And um, we get the limit abilities. So just like the limit ability we had for beast, Mulan, so it's something similar. Although it, uh, everyone has, uh, every ally has their own unique type of... Um, limit ability so i guess we can uh, we can try this one out this is <laughs> this is actually one of my favorite ones okay let's head back all the way back Oh, classic. Obviously, he's alive. Shan Yu! He's alive! He's heading for the Imperial City! We've got to warn Shang. Want to take those rockets with you? They could come in handy. Just saying. Just saying. Okay. Heading back. The loading screens in this game is a lot longer 
than the PS2 version. And I find that it's like a trend these days. Anything that's remastered for a, a, another generation, for a newer generation, typically loads a little bit longer. Which is kind of ironic because, you know, our hardware is supposed to be better. <laughs> but I believe um, if you're playing this on the Vita, it's quite quick. Alright. Ow. Come on, man. Yeah, as you can see, Mulan is pretty cool. Very little damage, but pretty cool nonetheless. Okay, this thing needs to not be super annoying. Ah. There we go. I learned damage drive. Can I actually equip that? Oops. There we go. Let's take a look. Damage drive. 3 AP. Restores the drive gauge every time damage is taken. Oh, this is quite nice. This is actually a really, really good one. So I am going to use some AP boosts to equip it. 3, I believe it was. So even though I don't use my drive gauge very often, um, right now, I'm, I definitely want to change that. I want to use it as often as possible. Uh, I'm going to equip it, so... You know what? Might as well just, on the next encounter, I'm going to go into Valor form. Oops, not limit. Drive. Wow. She totally just killed everything before... Damn it, Mulan, why are you so strong? Alright, so last time we were here, we kind of just rushed, rushed through it. And I was talking um, about it in my last video, so even though the commentary was lost. Uh, I didn't collect any of these chests because we were kind of under a time limit uh, with our morale. So um, we're, gonna, we're just going to co uh, collect all these chests right now. If you've already collected all of them, that's cool, but I didn't, go, I didn't do that, so... Alright. Let's grab these chests. Oh yeah, I like this jump a lot better than the uh, than the, the normal Soros jump. Ugh. There we go. I think that's all the chests, right? It looks like it. Alright, let's go. Oh man, I love how fast Valor Form is. So nice. Except when that happens. Alright, let's show up the... Uh, Mulan's limit ability here. Red Rocket. Let's do this together. Okay, so you can spam X to do um, these awesome fire flying attacks. And then uh, eventually it will do a finishing attack like that. And it absolutely annihilates everything in sight. Yep, that's it. <laughs> I probably should have did it slower, but that's usually how I handle limit attacks. I kind of just spam the button as hard as I can. <laughs> Alright, so... It's pointing towards this gate. So this gate, we shall go. And I believe we can get some drive orbs here. Yep. Just a little bit. Shanyu is alive. He's headed this way. And why should I believe you this time? But she's telling you the truth. Come on, Captain. It's not like she's the boy who cried wolf. She lied to you once. Wow. Everything about his face screams villain. The palace. Do not let the enemy get anywhere near the Emperor. That's an order. <gasps> Captain, we'll secure the courtyard and you can save the Emperor. That's an order. All right, very nice. Another mandatory battle. Defeat all the heartless. Easy enough. 
Okay. Wow, I'm sucking at this. Damn it! I was hoping I could guard against that, but I guess it's like a shockwave type attack. Gotta jump to uh, avoid it. So these guys are only vulnerable when you if you attack their heads, which is kind of annoying. All right, there we go. Let me just lock onto one so it's easier for me. There we go. I really should be using spells more often, but as of now, we only have like the first stage spells, Fire and Blizzard. Um, they're not super useful. Blizzard is okay. It's it's just um, a Thunder is a superior, like 100 times superior spell. Uh, to both fire and blizzard. Not all the time, but for most of your heartless killing, it's gonna be ha it's gonna have to be thunder. All right, let's move on. Was there a place to save in this pl place? Oh, I guess there wasn't. Huh. Okay, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm gonna be posting two videos today, so um, this will pick up in the next episode of Kingdom Hearts 2. So thanks for watching. Guys, see you guys next time.